So I've got my van here. This is where I'm going to spend the night. This place is called Dushniki's Drui. This is a parking space, which is just off the main road, which is here. This is the Polish route number eight. And um, as I left Wrocław, um, traveling through Lower Silesia until I got here, there are all sorts of places where you can actually stop the night. And I was thinking that this is a bit like a campus heaven because there are many interesting places to stop en route, old towns, maybe it's not quite the same as you might get in some places in Western Europe, but they're quite old. You've got the, the views, you've got the, the foothills of the Sudeten range, which this is the Sudeten uh, hills or mountains here. And you've got a number of spa towns, Dushniki Zdruy. Zdruy means spa. Before it was called Bad Reinhardt, I think it was in German, Bad, something like that. And again, Bad Zdruy Spa, it's, uh, that's what it means. And the, its waters here have been known since the Middle Ages for their alleged healing properties. And uh, for many years, it's been believed that you've got the thing, I've forgotten the technical term for it, but where you actually go into water and the water is believed to, to cure you uh, or to uh, help you with things like rheumatism. And another thing which the water, you've got to drink it to do this though, it's believed to be able to help you with uh, gastric problems, for example. So, what I'm going to do now, the other side of the road, so you can see that the, the spa, I believe, is to the left. Uh, the road, okay, it's going to be a bit noisy, but it doesn't seem too bad so far. And I'm over at the other side down there, so that's where I'm parked. Now, it's now... Today is the 30th of May. It's a bit colder than it normally is, although I didn't manage to wear short trousers today. This May has been the worst one I can recall for many, many years. Last year, on 30th of May, I was in Bad Kissingen and it was uncomfortably warm. You see, this, give you an example now. You have this at night, this could put off a lot of people. It doesn't put me off, but I, I don't understand it putting off people. So if it puts you off, then it's not the sort of place you want to stay in a van. But there's, there'll be plenty of places over here to stay in. Now, we've got this magnificent building. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Otherwise I'd say it might be a sign saying what it is. So, uh, it's been a spa town since the middle of the 18th century. All, despite the fact, as I said earlier, that the water's healing effects has been alleged since the Middle Ages. Ah, so, this is the paper museum. I'll have to come back and see this in more detail later. Now, the town, before I came here, I was a place called Polanitsa. Well, I sorry, I drove through it, and I was in Polonica with my then girlfriend in 2006, and it's my the first film I ever edited. Probably doesn't look as it was edited, but it was. I was trying, I was messing around with Windows Movie Maker or whatever it was called then. And so, well, in fact, I don't really edit this much. So, sort of joined all the bits together. But that is still on my site, and I just published it under the community section on YouTube. So it's visible again. And on that very same subject, the girlfriend before her, the first place we actually went to together was the Polonitz, and that was in 1999, December 1999. So that's the sort of places where I take the lasses. Now, um, the, it was a place which attracted 
wealthy people. There's, there's something very Central European about taking a cure, to use the German word, going to a spa. And you can see from the buildings here, or at least this one, the sort of signs of former grandeur. Probably better if I come here during the day, but as I just arrived, not much I can do about that. Should have left earlier. Another thing about Dushniki is that uh, Chopin came here and he played for the first time outside of Poland in um, 18, 1826 or thereabouts. Uh, this wasn't then in Poland. Uh, it was uh, well, Silesia wasn't Polish until 1945 or this part of it was Silesia wasn't. And so he played here at that age and this is Chopin concert I believe every year. Or something like that. I'm not really into music. Well, I am into music, but stuff from the 1970s and 80s. I'm trying to remember the story behind one of the hotels here as well. A square somewhat reminiscent of towns in in the mountains As you can see, the town is pretty much dead. It's coming up to 10 o'clock. And uh, this is a town which lives off tourism. Population is just under 5,000 people. And it's tourism, which it lives from spa tourism. And uh, I suspect that to a certain extent, there's not so many people here. Uh, because of the weather. The weather's been so bad. It's a Thursday night, uh, so that also may have something to it. But it needs to be pointed out, people come to a spa, normally this is the sort of thing which is settled well in advance. So, uh, that, that's something of importance. Now, there's a spa park here, which I won't be going into because uh, I don't suppose there's much in the way of light. Oh, here's a monument to Editor Stein, who was uh, murdered in Auschwitz. Uh, she became a Catholic, although that didn't that didn't save her as far as the Nazis were concerned. She was still uh, Jewish. But uh, this stone was put up on the 100th anniversary of her stay here in 1912. So she was murdered on the 9th of August 1942 and born on the 12th of October 1891 in, in, uh, in Wrocław, Breslau, as it was then, if I remember rightly. And there's the name in German, Bad Reynas. The average height is around 540 metres, but as you can tell, it's a, go it's a, it's a town on the slope and it goes to about 900. And tomorrow I'm driving to a place in uh, Czechia called Padovica, 